Um, I think nudity was the biggest thing for me. Um, I really tried to put myself out there as much as possible and did whatever I can um, to please my agent or please a client. And that's a huge part of it. You have to be ready to um, put yourself out there and to put yourself in a position where you're not necessarily in full control. Nudity is a huge uh, problem within the industry, I think, because when you're just starting out especially, you're not exactly shooting with the most reputable photographers, for example. So I remember I was asked to do, um, it was a normal shoot at first, we were just uh, just for a creative, and um, then the photographer asked me to take my top off, and I was 15. So I'm not saying he wasn't a reputable photographer, he, he was pretty. Um, but that was something I was not ready for at all. That was not a request I was expecting. Yeah. So I was very surprised with myself because I, I, I just had this weird sense that something would go wrong if I did that. So I was, I was, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not very comfortable with that. Um, and then I reminded him that I was only 15 because I think a lot of people forget yeah. how young we really are. Yeah. So that kind of snapped him back out of his little thought. So that was where I drew the line and that's where if I do continue to model where I will draw the line. When you start doing topless shoots, they just expect you to keep doing topless shoots and you kind of get this um, this aura placed around you in a sense because your agents know, oh, she's completely comfortable in front of the camera, naked, or whatever, and they'll, they might send you to castings where you wouldn't necessarily want to be, you know what I mean? There's kind of a sense of where to draw the line by how comfortable you with your you are with your body, but somebody could be completely comfortable with one's body and not want to pose naked and that's completely understandable and I don't think that any model should be subject to that question to be honest I think that's somewhat drawing the line unless it's for creative purposes really if it's a very very edgy shoot or very um, editorial shoot then there's there might be a reason for it just for the creative process or if you're really into the shoot or you're a, really a part of that creative process then there might be a reason for that but I think for any commercial purposes or any um, just kind of straight nobody's getting paid for the shoot there's there's really no point